who is his cousin. She is the daughter of his aunt, Umayma. Umayma ibn Abdul, bint Abdul Muttalib was the aunt of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Her daughter was Zainab bint Jahsh. And the marriage of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to Zainab is an important event in Islam for multiple reasons. We will go inshallah through that and study the, 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 the story of Zainab and her first husband, Zayd ibn Harith. Because in that story there are many lessons and there are many events. And there is also an explanation, an important explanation to many verses in Surah Al-Ahzab, which is chapter 33. Those of you who want to follow with us, inshallah, that's the verse that we're going to start with. And uh, we will study about the Sahabi who's the only companion that is mentioned by name in the Quran is Zayd. Zayd is the only one that is mentioned by name in the Quran. We start inshallah by reciting the uh, verses of 36, starting for 36 of chapter 33 al-Ahzab. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem wa ma kana li mu'minin wa la mu'minatin idha qadallahu wa rasooluhu amran an yakuna lahumul khiyaratu min amrihim وَمَنْ يَعْصِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ فَقَدْ ضَلَّ ضَلَالًا مُبِينًا وَإِذْ تَقُولُ لِلَّذِي أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَأَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِ أَمْسِكْ عَلَيْكَ زَوْجَكَ وَاتَّقِ اللَّهِ وَتُخْفِي فِي نَفْسِكَ مَا اللَّهُ مُبْدِيهِ وَتَخْشَى النَّاسَ وَاللَّهُ أَحَقُّ أَنْ تَخْشَى فَلَمَّا قَضَى زَيْدٌ مِّنْهَا وَطَرًا زَوَّجْنَاكَهَا لِكَيْ لَا يَكُونَ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ حَرَجٌ فِي أَزْوَاجِ أَدْعِيَائِهِمْ لِكَيْ لَا يَكُونَ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ حَرَجٌ فِي أَزْوَاجِ أَدْعِيَائِهِمْ إِذَا قَضَوْا مِنْهُنَّ وَطَرًا وَكَانَ أَمْرُ اللَّهِ مَفْعُولًا It is not for a believer, man or woman, when Allah and His Messenger have decreed a matter that they should have any option in their decision. And whoever disobey Allah and His Messenger, he has indeed strayed into a plain error. And remember when you said to him, Zayd, Zayd ibn Harith that is, Haritha, on whom Allah has bestowed grace, and you, Muhammad, have done favor to him. Keep your wife to yourself, and fear Allah. But you did hide in yourself, that is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what Allah has already made known to you, and what he, Allah, will give her to you in marriage, that which Allah will make manifest, you did fear the people. That is to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa And Allah had a better right that you should fear him. So when Zayd has accomplished his desire from her, we gave her to you in marriage. So that in future there may be no difficulty to the believers in respect of the wives of their adopted sons when the latter have no desire to keep them, and Allah command must be fulfilled. So who is this Zayd? Who is this person that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned his name in the Quran and mentioned the, the story of his marriage and his, his divorce? Zayd ibn Haritha al-Kalbi, who he was a slave that was captured in a war when he was a young boy. And he was brought to Mecca and was sold as a slave. And Hakim ibn Huzam, who is a relative of Khadija, may Allah be blessed with her, may Allah be pleased with her, and bless her, he bought him, and he gave him, Zayd, to Khadija. When Khadija, radiallahu anha, married Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, she gives Zayd ibn Haritha to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to take care of him, 
as his servant and slave. The parents of Zayd bin Haritha, before Islam, they track him down. And they find out he's in Mecca. He's a slave in Quraysh. And he is a servant in the house of Muhammad ibn Abdullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, his father and his uncle, Haritha and his brother, they come and meet with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That was before Da'wah, before Islam. And they tell him, Ya Muhammad, you are a generous man. You are an honorable man. And Zayd is our son. And he's from an honorable and noble family and his tribe. And we will give you whatever you want as a price if you just give him back to us and free him. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, I have a better offer than that. I will make him choose. Either he will have the freedom, he will have the choice to either stay with me or leave with his parents, leave with his father and his uncle and go back to his tribe. And for that, I will take no money. So his father was very happy with that offer. It's a no-brainer to him. Of course, Zaid will choose to go back to his tribe. So they called Zaid and they said, Zaid, this is your real father, this is your uh, parents, this is your uncle. And they come here, they want you to go back with them. And you have the choice. You are welcome to stay in the house of Muhammad وسلم, or you can go with your father. And then said Zaid to the surprise and astonishment of his father, he said, I choose to stay with Muhammad. I choose to stay with, Rasul, with uh, Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was not a prophet yet. And his father was surprised. He said, what do you mean, Zaid? You are a slave. You are a servant in this house. And you are an honorable, noble man. Where are you going to go? He said, wallahi, the, what I have seen from this man, the generosity, the behavior, the politeness of my master of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I can see nowhere, not including the lap of my father and mother. And he chose to stay. And to honor him for that decision, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and to also please his father. Now his father is completely broken hearted. So see how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam dealt with that. He said, Zayd is a free man. Zayd is no longer a servant or a slave in this house. Zayd is a free man and he is my adopted son. And from that day on, Zayd ibn Haritha was called Zayd ibn Muhammad. And that was his name until our major event that will happen on the fifth year after Hijrah. So for the entire time of the Ba'th al makkiyya for 13 years and the five years that followed, for the 18 years when Rasulullah was a prophet, this man was known as Zayd ibn Muhammad. He is the adopted son of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And in that society, an adopted son had the right of inheritance, had the right, every right, that a real biological son would have, including the relationship about marriage, relationship with dealing with the wives of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as his mothers, uh, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa would deal with him according to the customs at that time as his real son. So Zayd got to a point where he is a man and he's at the time of being married, to get married. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and in a lesson that is so important to the Muslim nation, he wanted to give, to, to ask for, for a, a, a lady to marry his son, his adopted son, Zayd ibn Haritha. And for that, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam chooses one of the most honorable ladies and women in Quraysh. And a woman is so honorable in Jahiliyyah because of her, and before Islam, because of her status in the tribe, but she's also very honorable in Islam because of her relation also to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He chose, he chose Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to give his cousin Zainab bin Tujash to his adopted son in marriage. And who goes to ask Zainab to marry Zayd? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself. He's breaking this, this classes between people. And how is that? 
Zainab is an honorable lady in Quraysh. When Zainab was getting raised and, and in the last 15, 20 years, uh, when she was raised in the house of her parents, Zaid was known to her as the servant Zaid, the slave Zaid. And to her, for her to marry the servant in their house, that is breaking every aspect of these social classes, situation. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam goes to Zainab. And this is, this uh, story is narrated in Ibn Kathir. It's narrated in Al-Awfi. And it is also uh, narrated in um, two other books. Um, I'll get that to that in a minute. But in, in, in Tafsir ibn Kathir, this is, story is, is definitely narrated as well. And this is on uh, authority of Abdullah ibn Abbas. May Allah